Hi, my name is Neil. I'm, I'm Neil Ryan Aldefonso is my full name. I'm from the Philippines. Okay, um, before I moved here, uh, I was working at the Department of Education for five years and it's just that I, I thought about moving on to a new place, okay? Seeking for new thrills, new, new adventures, and also new opportunities to widen my horizon. And I had a friend working here for about three years already, so she kind of invited me and then, yeah, that's it. Uh, I took the heat and yeah, I'm here working now in, in Kazakhstan. Well, working with the local teachers and staff are just one of the amazing experiences that I have in, in Kazakhstan so far. I mean, they have been so very welcoming and also the, the attitude towards foreigners are very nice. Okay, it's this is something that I don't really expect because before I don't really know much about Kazakhstan and except that this used to be part of the Soviet Union, but, and you know, this negative connotation about the Soviet time, but when I get here and get all the, the support, the massive support and this very welcoming uh, hospitality from the people, it's just amazing really. Well, uh, since I had already in mind that this is used to be part of the Soviet Union. And I was really thinking about this, uh, they're probably, they're so backward, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, when it comes to, to the attitude towards being uh, a democratic liberated system, but I was really surprised that it's the total opposite of what I expected. And I've seen how people, how women, especially women enjoyed so much freedom here. And I can see that everyone is enjoying life. Uh, basically, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, same with what I, I was thinking that in the Philippines, more or less, it's it's the same kind of, of freedom and, and independence that they enjoy. Well, um, the first I tried the Gumis, okay. It's uh, from Mayor's Milk. At first, uh, it's it's not it's something that I I have tried ever since. But when I got here, they introduced me to this traditional milk, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's it's nice, okay. But uh, with, in terms of the dish, really, I, I really like the bisburma. Okay. okay. Uh, it's made of. Uh, uh, I I already tried the horse meat uh, Besper Mark and mm -hmm. also the 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 beef mm -hmm. and yeah they they all taste wonderful <laughs> and I love it. Sure, okay. Uh, I remember that uh, we were invited to a Kazakh wedding and that was the first time that we were going to attend. And at first, I really don't know about uh, how this wedding is going to happen since we were invited and in, in the program, it says seven o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, we, we tried to anticipate uh, the, the ceremony. So we were there 30 minutes ahead of time, but we were surprised that nobody was there yet. Mm -hmm. And then around after an hour or two hours after people Came and that's when we realized that they really started late. But when everyone was there, they were so uh, approachable. Everyone is trying to uh, get acquaintance with us, and we were kind of celebrity really at that time. But yeah, that's something that uh, I I know when they knew somebody is uh, a foreign and they love to share their culture with us, and I really love that moment because that's when I saw how how Hospita hospitable really the people are in. <laughs> yes, uh, I've, I've heard about this uh, uh, ER, mm -hmm. uh, Zook, uh -huh. Kalan Skalai, something is still there, <laughs> and Okazi Zook. <laughs> yeah, those are some few of the uh, expressions I, I learned in here. The positive side, okay, I, I guess I can mention a lot of more on the positive side. Since working here has I've been one of the most amazing experiences I had in my life. I mean, with all the support that I get from the people and also this 
very nice students. <clears throat> on the negative side, maybe on on the weather. Okay, you see, I, I'm from the Philippines. Although I, I used to live in the UK also before, but uh, the Philippines is really a tropical country, and we don't have snow. And but in here, it's huge uh, amount of snow, and the temperature really is plummeting, negative 27. Something that I never experienced in my life. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, apart from this very harsh weather condition, everything is perfect. Of course, uh, you have to be having some little background research uh, a bit about the country. But uh, other than that, I think the best part in, in learning about the country is to experience yourself, experience the, the food, the culture, okay? mingle with people because Kazakh people are really hospitable. So you don't need to worry about them. Okay, They're very approachable. And if you don't, uh, get understood then just try to do the translator from yandex or google translate and everything will be okay okay something that we don't need to worry about casa people they're very accommodating okay uh, since uh, the kazakh government doesn't have uh, a consulate in the philippines so we have or we are we were required to go to jakarta to apply for the visa Okay. And then, yeah, after staying for a week in, in, in Jakarta, that's when we get the visa and uh, flew here from, from Jakarta to Bangkok and then Bangkok to Almaty. And then from Almaty, we were taken here to Urox because mm -hmm. I'm in the western part of the country. This is where I work right now. Okay, mabuhay, magandang araw po sa lahat. And... Ako po si Neil. Ako po ay isang teacher dito sa West Kazakhstan State University. At uh, magdadalawang taon na po ako dito. Uh, running two years by November this year. And kung kayo po ay interesado na pumunta dito, uh, napakagandang opportunity po ang andito sa Kazakhstan. And I hope na um, magkandak lang ng marami pang research about the country and paano mag kumuha ng visa dito. Yun lamang po at uh, sana po ay uh, maayos ang kalagayan natin sa gitna ng uh, COVID-19 situation. Salamat. Now, for all of those who are planning to go to Kazakhstan, okay, don't be afraid uh, as long as you go through the process, uh, the immigration, proper immigration processes, and then once you're here, um, this is uh, pretty much one of the most peaceful country I've ever been to. And I think the people are amazing, okay? So you just have to explore the culture, the food, the language, okay? Uh, it would be to your advantage if you know a, a, bit, a bit of Russian, but other than that, it doesn't really matter. In big cities, English is, uh, I mean, a lot of people can speak English, so it won't pose any problem at all. And yeah, just explore uh, the country and enjoy.